Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at a proof. Okay, here is our, our figure. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. And in that quadrilateral we have a line drawn right down the middle, B, D. Okay, let's look at in, what information we're given and well, let's mark our diagram. We see that A, B is congruent to C, B. Okay, so that means this segment is congruent to this segment and AD is congruent to CD. So AD and CD are congruent, so let's mark that one. Okay, and then we have to show that the triangles are congruent. Okay, so let's start off by just stating what we have. Let's do our givens. Okay, statement one, we're gonna state, well, AB is congruent to CB, and that reason is given. And the second part we're given is the second statement, AD, is congruent to CD, and that one is also given. So I'm numbering my statements with my matching reasons opposite each other, okay? Now, what else can we figure out? Because you need, on a proof, three things. You need three sides, or two sides and an included angle, or they're different combinations. So let's see what we can draw from the diagram. Well, if you, if you see, they share this common side. So this triangle on the left and the triangle on the right share the side BD, so I can mark it congruent to itself. So that's actually what I'm going to use as my third statement. I'm going to say that BD is congruent to itself BD. And how do I know that? I know that because that is the reflexive property. Anytime something is congruent to itself, that's the reflexive property of, in this case, congruency. And now, do we have enough reasons, enough statements to say the triangles are congruent? Well, let's see. On proving triangles congruent, you need three congruent statements. So we have one here, we have a congruent here, we have, a, yeah, we have all three. And what do you notice about those? They're all three sides. So looking at your diagram, you have side, 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 and then side, 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 and they all match up. So that's gonna be our reason. So now we can go down and write the prove statement right here as our last statement. You'd write triangle A, B, D is congruent to triangle C, B, D. And what would the reason be? Well, the reason is because of the side, side, side postulate. Okay, so we're saying side, 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 and we're done with the proof. That proves that the triangles have to be congruent, meaning all three sides are congruent, and all three corresponding angles are congruent. Voila, we're done.